So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to take a single AI generated children's story and flip it into one, a published book, number two, an audiobook, number three, a coloring book, a version that parents buy alongside the main book, number four, a YouTube channel. This is a one to many business model. And at the end of the video, I'm going to break down the number one mistake that stops people from actually making money with this so you don't waste your time. I've talked about this before, but you know, AI is not the future, it is the present. And people who learn how to monetize it now will dominate while everybody else will play catch up. And if you haven't heard it before, you're gonna hear it here. The publishing industry is changing. In a few years, AI-generated books will be everywhere. The people who get in first will own the space. The ones who wait, they'll be too late. And still, most people don't get it. They see AI as a tool to do work faster, to write, design, or automate small tasks. That's the wrong way to think about it. AI is not a tool. AI is leverage and leverage is what separates high income entrepreneurs from everybody else. The smartest people in business do not trade time for money. They do not work harder. They build systems that scale infinitely. If you guys want me to make a video about this, I will because I think there's a lot to say about this. Now, one AI generated children's story is not a story in itself. It is an asset that you can multiply in many, many ways. Without writing, because AI generates the story, without illustrations, I'm gonna show you how to create that with AI. No voice actors, AI will do that as well. And no animation skills. I mean, this is not about another side hustle. This is about understanding how to multiply your work into infinite outputs. Okay, so let's start with the step-by-step -step process. And how do I know this? Well, because I've done it. I created this children's book myself. And initially what I wanted to do was to offer the story as a gift, as an extra benefit to a coloring book. So this was designed as a coloring book and we were offering the story as the extra benefit the gift to the parent who was buying the coloring book. But then as I was thinking about how can I promote the book itself, immediately I thought of YouTube and of audio stories. And that's how this idea came to be. I've been thinking about this for a long time and this is exactly how I would do it myself. I never ended up publishing that book, actually. Lots of reasons, I'm not gonna go into those right now, but you can absolutely steal the entire thought process and the entire production process because I'm gonna walk you through them. So. How do we come up with the book itself, with the story itself? First, you need to go and open ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini, whatever you prefer, depending on the style, and ask it to write you a 500 to 1000 word children's story in a fun, engaging tone. I'm gonna put here on the screen an example of prompt that you could use. And um, if you want more details and the step-by-step -step process, there will be an ebook completely free, link down below. It does take us a bit of time to produce those ebooks. So thank you for your patience. Come back to the video or join the community. You'll get notified when the ebook is ready. Literally, we've got everything, including dialogue. But a lot of people get stuck on the next place. It's okay, but it's not perfect. So how do you go about it? People start tweaking, rewriting, obsessing over every sentence, and they never end up publishing. You do not need a perfect story. You need a story that sells, and that makes a point. It serves the purpose. So what sells? Proven, time-tested, themes like friendship, like adventure, like overcoming fears, like magical creatures. These have been selling time and time again. This is what parents are already buying. So stick to what works. Do not make it more complicated than that. And if the first draft is not perfect, sure, tweak it, add personality, adjust the pacing, refine the dialogue, but you don't have to overdo it. So now you've got the text. How do you bring it to life into an actual book? Well, you're in luck because Canva has exactly what you need. Now we do need to be able to prompt Canva to generate the visuals, the images that we need for the book. So we're not gonna come up with the prompts ourselves. We're gonna ask ChatGPT to write the prompts for us so we can create the book directly in Canva. Now, while it's doing its work, I wanna clarify something because you might think that you need to hire an illustrator. You need to spend months drawing or I don't know, learn complex design software. You don't need to do that nowadays. If you don't like Canva, you can use Midjourney. If you don't like either of them, you can use ChatGPT itself. I personally wouldn't recommend ChatGPT necessarily because I don't think it gets the style quite right yet, but you've got options. You can go to Midjourney, you can go to Canva AI, you can go to Leonardo, I'll come back to it later on, but you've got tons of options. 
Now, before you go to generate your images, one big mistake that I see people making is they type a generic prompt and they get inconsistent, unusable images. That's why you want to make sure that you get some guidance on the prompting if you're not a master prompter yourself. And if you do want to keep consistent style, then probably the best way would be to go either to Midjourney and use the specific prompting that you need there if you're good with that, or you can go to Leonardo and you can pick the type of design that you want. For the purpose of today's video, I'm gonna use Canva AI so it makes it easier. So all you gotta do is go to Canva and pick children's book, okay? I gave it some standard European page size you can pick anything that works with Amazon KDP. You've got on Amazon's page all the different types of trim sizes. So pick something from there. Turn on consistency mode. Generate image. There you have it. It is that simple. Now, if you want to go ahead and create another one, go back to children's books. Go and pick up your next prompt generate image. In the meantime, I'm going back, taking my text. Now you want to pay attention to the fact that if you do choose to use Canva children's book, then you're going to need to pay $6.99 for a hundred generations per day. I believe that this is not much if you want to do this at scale, but if you're really good with prompting in another tool like Leonardo or like Midjourney, then you can just use whichever other tool you're comfortable using and you don't have to pay the $7 a month for the children's book pro. I just thought that it's easy and it'll give you consistent design so you don't have to worry about that. Now, once you're done with all of your designs and you've put all of the texts, What's left to do is add a cover. So you're gonna do it in the exact same way. You're gonna go to Magic Create or whichever tool you're comfortable using. Create it with AI and you're good to go. Once you've formatted and made sure that your book meets the design specifications, the size requirements for Amazon KDP, then all you need to do is export it to a PDF print version and you're ready to upload. So once you have your book ready, you go to Amazon KDP, you create a new book, you add paperback or Kindle ebook, and then you enter your book's name, your author name, and a good compelling description. You can also ask ChatGPT to write that for you. And then you need to add a few keywords and select the section that your book should be featured in. So make sure that you pick bedtime stories for kids or books about courage for children, picture book for ages, I don't know, four to eight. You can use those as keywords as well as guidelines to give you a sense of where your book should be listed. You're just getting started because publishing the one book is just one of the ways to make money. The next step is to turn your book into an audiobook, which is an extra revenue stream for you. And I think it's important to acknowledge that not every parent has time to sit down and read a bedtime story every night. Some are busy, some are exhausted, and some just want to hit play and let the story tell itself. And that is why I believe audiobooks are such a key element to your business because they turn your book into a completely different product, reaching an entirely new audience without you recording a single word. And then these two products are gonna recommend each other. They bought the book, then make sure you include the link to your Audible. If they bought the book on Audible, then refer to your actual book on Amazon. And you know, in the past, making an audiobook meant hiring a narrator and booking a studio and equipment and microphone and spending hours editing, but AI has killed that barrier. It made it available to anyone. Now you can generate professional great narrations in minutes. Let me show you how you do it. First, you take your AI generated story and paste it into a tool like 11. Labs. This is the one that I prefer. This is the one we've been using for a long time. And this is the one I am comfortable recommending. What I like is that this platform uses advanced AI voices that sound shockingly real. You can select a warm, engaging voice that fits your book's theme, something friendly, expressive, and easy for kids to follow. And you can adjust the pacing so it's not too rushed. You can tweak the pronunciation in case that's needed, and you can let AI do the rest. With hearts thumping and paws padding, the animals followed Finley. The hill was just as twisty and shadowy as he remembered. His legs shook a little, but he kept climbing. Halfway up, he slipped on a pebble. I can't do this, he said. Yes, you can, said Bella, landing gently on his shoulder. You're already doing it. 
And there you have it. Now you have a fully narrated audiobook ready to sell. And I didn't do any changes to it. You can do that, but I don't think it's necessary for now. The next step is turning it into a product that people can actually buy. So what you want to do is go to acx.com, which is Amazon's audiobook publishing platform, and you can create a free account. You can upload your MP3 file that you just downloaded from Eleven Labs, and you can set your price. And ACX is going to distribute your audiobook to Audible, to Apple Books, and Amazon, putting it in front of millions of potential buyers. And once it's live, every time someone listens to it, you get paid. Now, when somebody buys that physical book, they'll be offered the audiobook as an upsell, same way with them listening to the audiobook and then referring the physical book. But we're not stopping here because I told you I have more. A story engages the imagination, but a coloring book engages the hands. And if you've ever seen a kid with a box of crayons, you know they will spend hours filling in the pages. You can use the same characters, the same theme, you just repackage it into an interactive experience. Here's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna take the illustrations you already generated and you're gonna go to Canva and generate them into a single line design. If you're more proficient, you can go to Midjourney as well. I actually used Midjourney when I generated my coloring books, the one that I showed you and a couple others, but you don't have to do that. Canva is going to do it for you. Pretty, pretty simple, straightforward. All you need is a good prompt, which you can use the same prompt that you used when creating your book itself. Now you can generate those 20 to 30 pages, format them into a book, and you're happy with the coloring book, all you need to do is download, go back to Amazon KDP and publish this one as well. Pro tip, you can create a bundle so that whoever wants to buy the book, they can buy the coloring book as well for a better price. But as I said, there's one more way. This is the first thing that actually came to mind when I first designed my coloring book, the one that I showed you, and that is YouTube animations. You can create a YouTube channel where you share all of these stories. And honestly, stories are so powerful, but motion is magnetic. It is going to keep kids watching. How are you gonna do it when you only have illustrations and your story? Well, the good thing is that you already have your audio version because we're gonna use that. Now, the next part of it is you're gonna need the animations. And for that, we're gonna use a tool that you can use for free, but it takes you a few days to do it. Or you can just get the $9.99 monthly subscription and you can do that in one single day. Which tool am I talking about? That is Minimax AI. So let me show you how it works. So if you go and search on Google for Minimax AI, it's gonna take you to this Hey Luo AI dot video. And here you wanna to go to create video. You can paste one of your images that you created in Canva here. Now, once you add your image, you can provide camera movements and a lot more details so you can tell it how you want the visual to look like. When you get started, you have a little bit over a thousand credits and it's gonna take you 30 credits to create one section of five to six seconds. So you will be able to create a good amount of visuals for free with the one account. But as I said, you might want to speed up the process. So you might want to get a fully paid subscription. It's $10 a month and now we wait. And what I really like about this tool is that it takes static images and it adds movement. It turns them into smooth animations that are gonna look so, so beautiful on YouTube. And if you know anything about Coco Melon, if you have kids, you know how successful this kind of channels are. And with Minimax AI, you're able to bring that storytelling into your video without knowing anything about animation. And once you have your animated visuals, you can add the narration that we've done together on Eleven Labs. And then the final step is to put everything together. You can use CapCut if you want. You can use any tool that you're familiar with, iMovie, anything, even your phone could work, honestly. So you don't have to overcomplicate things. All you need to do is stitch together all the videos that you get from Minimax AI and add your Eleven Labs audio and that's it. I mean, this is crazy. It looks so, so good. I'm mind blown. I, I'm speechless. I think this looks unbelievable. <sighs> wow. Now, once you have your video ready, all you need to do is go ahead and upload it to YouTube, give it a good name, come up with a thumbnail, which you can use one of the visuals that you already have as your thumbnail, and you're good to go. Make sure that you cross-reference all your products because we started with one AI-generated story, but now you have a book, a coloring book, an audio book, 
and a channel on YouTube that shares your animation. If you think that this is powerful, wait until you see what happens when you scale, because this is one time exercise that we've done today, but you don't need to stop there. You can create every single week another set of four assets. And once they're engaged, then you direct them straight to your other income streams, to your Amazon KDP shop, where they can buy the book, where they can get the coloring book. And in the pinned comment, you can give them, I don't know, a free page from your coloring book so they can have a reason to go and check out everything else. I mean, each animation leads to a traffic funnel, a self-sustaining system that promotes your books, builds an audience. I really hope you guys give it a try because honestly, I think it's incredible. Now, this is where most people fail. They focus on one product, one stream of income, but you're smart. You're not going to make that mistake and you're going to turn every piece of work into a system that feeds itself. Now, if you want to turn this into a business, there is one mistake that that I really need you to avoid. Something that completely kills people's results before they even start. Let me show you what it is. The biggest mistake people make is not bad design, it's not weak marketing, and it's not the competition. It's that they stop too soon. Most people will watch this video, get excited, maybe even try generating a book, but when they don't see instant sales, they quit. They assume that it didn't work when in reality, they just didn't give it enough time. And many times they just stop at six feet away from gold. Now look, most people hesitate, they overthink, they wonder if it's really too late, but the only way to guarantee failure is to never start. So if you're serious about building an AI powered income stream, start today, take everything that I've shown you in this video, go ahead and apply it, publish your first book, turn it into content, start your YouTube channel. And if you want a lot more ideas on how you can use AI, leverage it to build a business, then come join our community. It is completely free. We've got a lot of people there. It's a lot of fun. If you need somebody to support you on this journey, then come join us. We're doing free challenges every week. So you're gonna learn a lot from each other, hopefully from me as well. And we get to talk a lot more and hang out a lot more than we do on YouTube. So consider that in the meantime, go ahead and watch this video over here. Like this video if you did, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so and share this video with anyone in your circle of friends or family who you think needs to watch this. Till next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.